I want this page to run successfully. That's why I created that uh, portfolio.php file. Now, let me get back to this menu links. I have created this uh, file and I, ha I have linked it to my navigations. Uh, navig I, have, I have linked this to the name that will appear on my navigation panel. So let's save this and, and we will simply see the change. Let's refresh the page and you see that I have got another page. If I click on it, it's successfully running it. So this is fetching the, my server is now um, bringing up the portfolio.php file and, and it's showing me all those PHP, PHP information. So if I get back, if I get back to my home page, I see that uh, after this contact, it's actually bringing up the portfolio um, portfolio link on my navigation. So suppose if I want, uh, if I just want to keep the name of this portfolio, um, uh, if I just want to keep this part, and I want, I don't want this. Um, page to open up or I don't want this portfolio a link to show up on my navigation on this part so uh, I might my intention might be it might be that um, I want to create the file later on but I just want to keep the name so what I need to do is to create uh, is to write false in here and I need to just simply save this and let me get back to this browser and open refresh this so you see the link actually disappears when I provide false. So this is a simpler way to manipulate your website or your web pages than to uh, go back to your code, then uh, change it, then uh, it, it might get buggy, it might get errors, you need to debug it, you need to fix up everything, it might take a long time. So. Um, I've created this JSON files to make my uh, development uh, more simpler. It's not actually development because my development is being contained in that functions the PHP file. So this is the this function that PHP file contain is actually the brain of this website. So this is handling all those um, JSON data format that's occurring inside here. So uh, you might have seen CMS or content ma content management website uh, that that has got a front end and a back end. You might have um, you might have seen how blogs like WordPress works. You might have seen how Joomla works. You might have seen how Drupal works. So basically, there are. Uh, the CMSs, the WordPress, the Joomla, and the Drupal, they're built for people who are not programmers so that they can actually make a site without knowing a programming language. But the thing is, sometimes um, even CMSs have their own, um, they have their own shortcomings because it, there is a matter of performance when you run your site. The more your site um, is responsive the faster it runs it's going to be more acceptable to your users so JSON data format actually makes it more uh, it's actually uh, more user friendly in the sense it makes your site run faster on your server than the usual CMS so that's why um, that's why you, need, you can use the JSON data format to uh, manipulate this uh, this elements these elements, these pictures, uh, these descriptions, and these links on your web pages. So simply, I didn't, I didn't even have to code anything. I didn't even have to change anything. Like I didn't have to change the CSS. I didn't have to change the um, HTML codes. I didn't have to change the PHP codes. I just had to change the. I just included a name along with the um, a value. Uh, either it's false or a link to a page because I don't want it to show on the navigation panel that's why I'm providing uh, that's why I'm, uh, I'm setting a value of false to this name that 
and I see the effect on the pages. Now, as I was talking about these page titles, I've also created a page titles.json file. So, this page titles.json file simply it simply is going to manipulate your titles that appears uh, on the tab when you open up a page. So I've opened up the home page and it's um, and it's showing me uh, uh, it's showing me the name of the web page and the website on the tab. Suppose if if I open up the services page, it's also showing me a title for this entire page on the tabs. So this, uh, so this is the our services title. If I open up gallery, it's going to um, show the cake collection. This is the title that's appearing on the tab. If I open up contact, it's also showing me some sort of title on this tab. So this is being manipulated inside this um, page titles.json file. So. Uh, um, this home is actually the name of the page. This is the home page, this is the services page, then I've got the galleries page. So, um, my code behind the scene when I pr write something, like if I just write, erase this part, if I erase the uh, hours, hour part, and if I just save this. Yeah, and let's get let's get back to the services page. So you see the change immediately. So I erased off the hour word, and I've just kept the services uh, word for the title, and it's showing me uh, the title on the tab. So on the left hand side, this one represents the page, and on the right hand side is what the title is going to be shown when a, when an user on, or when a visitor clicks on that specific page. Suppose that uh, user or that visitor clicks on your services page, it's going to show the services on the tab uh, on the tab when you when they open up a new tab when you, when they open up your website on a new tab. So this value. Is going to is uh, is the corresponding value on the right hand side. So if I just change this to cake, if I just erase off the name and I, if I um, keep the cake part, cake word perhaps, and if I just open up home, it's only going to show cake uh, on the um, tab as the title. So. I think you get the idea of how this is operating because it's a lot easier than to go back to your HTML and to erase the previous value and it's also easier because it's making my site respond faster it's also making it a lot easier and it's also um, uh, it's also applicable for smaller application or smaller website. This is a pretty small website with just four pages. Because I wasn't allowed to use the jQuery, I made it dynamic with PHP. So you, you can do the same thing if you want. Uh, if you want to, so I'll be showing you the entire process. So let me uh, just show you one more thing before I start with the development part. Now, like this, uh, I sh I've shown you. A lot this this was a lot simpler these menu links and the page titles they were a lot simpler than the full links now this is also simple but this is a little tricky to understand when you go back to PHP codes so let me just explain this for, for a little while so there are basically three columns if you look at this there are three parts for this footer so this this black part, the top black part that contains the social icons, this is the footer up, this is the footer center, and this is the footer bottom. So in here, um, if I go back to App Tano Studio, if I, if I open up this footer links.json file, you, you can see there is column one, there is column two, and there is column three. So 
each this folder links actually represents the links that are appearing in the folder center section. So this is column one, this is column two, and this is column three. So inside each of these columns, I've got Google uh, and the Google's link. I've also got the Business Insider and its corresponding link. I mean, it, the link of the website. I've got Gmail. So you can just put random values, uh, I mean, random names, and you also can put up random, I mean, um, 